in this video I'll show you how to connect your Canon PIXMA TS3420 to any smartphone. This is an Android phone but it works the same exact way on an iPhone. So this way I'll show you how to connect it and then I'll show you how to print wirelessly. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is to download the Canon print app. This is available on the Play Store and also on the App Store. It should look like this, Canon Print Inkjet slash Selfie app from Canon Inc. Download it and then open the app. Next step is to connect the printer, make sure that it's turned on. And then on the bottom here, you're going to click on whatever printer it is. If you don't see anything, no problem. Click on the top left corner. There's a small icon of a printer. Tap on it. And here it will tell you to register a printer. You're going to go down, tap on register printer. And here you're going to have a list of all the printer the app found that are around. I'm lucky my printer is over here, TS3400 series. It's a 3420 in my case, but it's the absolute same thing. If you see it, you just have to tap on it. But what if you don't see it in the list? No problem. What you'll need to do is to tap over here if printer cannot be found. Then you're going to tap on auto connection. And here it will tell you to tap on a button that looks like this one, two ovals together. But don't do anything for the moment, just tap yes. And now it will tell you to press on that specific button, I will show you in a second, during three seconds. On this Canon printer, this button is located on the top where it says wireless. You see under it, you see it's the button with two ovals overlapping. You need to keep it pressed during three seconds and release it after. Once you did this, go back to the app, tap this small square and press next. It will search again for your printer. And if you don't see it again, no problem, just go into your Wi-Fi settings where you can see all the Wi-Fi networks around you and in this list you should see the Canon printer appearing. Here we go, Canon TS3400, just click on it and then go back to the app. You'll get this message, set up Wi-Fi for the following printer, click OK. Okay, it will tell you that you will be connected to this Wi-Fi network. Press yes if you agree. And then you should see appearing in the list here. Tap on it. And you're done. It may ask you the password of your Wi-Fi network. You just have to enter it and press continue or OK and then you'll have the same screen, um, same screen as I'll, you see right now. In my case I already did it in the past so it didn't ask me the password a second time. Then press close and now it asks you if you want to try printing an image or a file with it and this is what we'll do but not this way. I'll show you how to do it another way. I'm going to click on the X here click X2, they're just trying to sell you stuff. And now in this main menu of the app, this is uh, the menu you get when you open it every time, you're going to select if you want to print a document, a picture or other things like uh, photo items. I mean, you don't need those, honestly. You're going to just stick to those first ones. At the same time, you'll be able to scan from the app and also copy documents. In this example, I'll show you how to print a document. I think this is the most common thing to do. You're going to select where is located the document. Mine is on my phone. So I'll tap smartphone. 
and now you need to locate where the document is actually on your phone. It will show you the files in the camera, but mine is not over here, so I'll have to go somewhere else. Mines are in my documents. Let me print this, this one, so I'll just tap on it. It's a PDF with two pages. I'll press the next button. And in here it will ask you which page you want to print. I want to print both of them, so I'll click on, I will just leave it at all. But if you want just one page, well, you can select here, press OK. It will just confirm you that it's the right size paper. Yes, it's eight and a half by 11. This is what I have put over there in the feeder. So it's fine and it's plain paper. I'll press yes. And if everything is fine, you're gonna press on the print button and the printer will start printing right away. Here we go. So these are our two pages from the document we just selected and, and this is how it looks. Perfect. On the app, you're gonna have print status, printing is completed, you can press OK and do wh whatever you want now, print it again or just exit the app and that's all. Thanks for watching, I hope this was useful, if so please leave a comment, I'm trying to read them as much as I can, also leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one.